Hey everyone, Mango7 Rule here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And why is it every time I try to have a nap, I go to sleep, I wake up, and everything is on fire? Um, I don't know why it always happens. Maybe I should just stop going to sleep in the middle of the day. Maybe that's the solution. But uh, we have an apology letter from Smilegate Megaport CEO, translated by Tenha here. And it's bonkers. Like, actually bonkers. Um... So I'm just going to read it out for you guys. Uh, Epic 7, which serves in Smilegate, has recently caused too much inconvenience and concerns to users due to its security and operation. If it's the right game service, we should have focused on providing fun to users with a stable balance and content, constantly communicating with users and reflecting their opinions. I'm sorry for not being able to do so. And as the representative of Smilegate Megaport, I sincerely apologize for the 15% mention in the last Epic Festa in this meeting. 40 times the five-star ceiling and the attitude of the representative to apologize. I feel deeply responsible for the improbable communication mistakes and inappropriate behavior. I'd like to share with you all the Epic 7 executives and employees at the conference, as well as the community where we can take the painfully um, and steps towards to improve what we've done. Um, again, this is translated, so it's not going to be 100% correct. Um, first of all, we will do our best to improve the overall system and balance of hero picking in the game, and to restore users' confidence through a comprehensive reorganization for stable operations and smooth communication with users. E7's hero summoning system is a problem that requires too much effort to win the hero you want. This overbalancing of certain heroes resulted in a stark distinction between content play and user complaints. Therefore, we will increase accessibility to the 5-star characters of ML. We'll make sure that uh, you can get an ML from Covenant Summons as well and remove the mileage system for you to pull MLs. At the same time, we will adjust the performance of certain overbalanced ML heroes. When adjusting the performance of a hero, we'll give back all the in-game merchandise you use to grow the hero and we'll choose the hero you want from among the heroes of our class. And we'll introduce a reasonable ceiling for pickup calls, um, pity rates, and we'll be pre fully prepared to get your feedback and guide you before the end of July. Jesus, that's 11 days. Outside the game, we will reform the business organization to provide services that humbly listen to and empathize with users' opinions and be reborn as an organization that can think from the perspective of users and quickly reflect feedback. Epic 7 will listen to your voice and improve communication as the best value. Don't overcharge yourself and play with a stable balance. We also maintain the highest level of securities for users to trust and play. I apologize again for the trouble I have caused you. Um, wow. Uh, so just a too long good read if you didn't really understand what that meant from like the translation. But um, basically, uh, this is just the the um, what's the word for it? Like the rough draft, right? Like don't take anything here as solid set in stone don't take anything um for exactly what it says just know they're open to changing and they plan to do some insanely drastic changes um more drastic changes than i've actually ever seen in a gacha game before the only game i've really seen do this big of an overhaul is actually final fantasy 14 maybe it's just coming up because i'm playing final fantasy 14 but um the the big change in final fantasy 14 when a letter like this came out um just like uh it did then with with smilegate right now um it changed final fantasy 14 for the better in the long run so keep that in mind um i know that's like apples to oranges comparing that but just before you just start having a hissy fit just just like breathe a little bit see what happens and and think about the future and hope things get better so the too long didn't read here is pity summons in every banner um, they didn't specifically say how many units for pity summons, but pity summons in every banner. So, um, I've, I've heard people say that this is going to just make things too accessible now, which is kind of ridiculous because that's what a lot of people are complaining about is when, when they get really unlucky. Um, a really good example of this is a lot of people think everybody has every hero in this game and it can kind of makes it a little boring. I personally agree with that. But I don't think that can change unless they change banner systems in general. So I don't think that's something we can get away from um, with the current state of the game. So pity summons in every banner. All that's really going to do is make it so when somebody summons 1500 bookmarks for Luluka, like I did, 
uh, make it so they're guaranteed to get her instead of leaving without the Lulu Cup. Feeling horrible, possibly quitting the game. Um, I know people do for stuff like that. And just feeling a little better about the game. I don't think it's going to make it any more samey, which is uh, what a lot of the concerns were when um, people brought this up. Because everybody kind of already has everything. Like, this is for the very few people that, uh, like me, can go 1,500 bookmarks um, on two different banners and not get a five-star character they want. So that's just what that is for, nothing else. Um, this can't really be a bad thing. I, I don't see it being a bad thing at all. The next one, whew, this is a big one. So they're going to nerf ML5 characters. Uh, if your ML5 hero gets nerfed, you'll get a chance to choose what other ML5 hero you want instead of your nerfed one. So that is, that is true. Like they don't have to do that, you know? Like that's awesome. Um, I've never seen a company do that before. This is kind of shocking to me. Um, I'm one of the, the small few people that have been playing since launch that this doesn't actually do anything to because I don't have an ML5, um, cry for mango, but I, I feel like there, there can be nothing wrong with that statement, right? The biggest complaint I've ever seen for this game outside of stamina always revolves around ML5s, ML4s like Carmen, um, inability to do stuff without certain units. Like this can only be good, right? Like, right? Like, I, I just, <laughs> it's such a huge change that I'm not even sure. And then the next one, um, you can get MLs from Covenant Summons, removing gold and transmit stone count in the future. So this means we'll be able to pop a random uh, Covenant bookmark and out pop Silverblade Araminta. So I theoretically have a chance to get her in the future now. Um, it's probably going to be nowhere near the percent that they are now. So, um... The, the ML5s are probably going to be a lower percent than the regular 5s are, so keep that in mind going forward as well. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> what in the heck? This is monstrous, right? Like, I've never seen anything like this before. And I have no idea what to say. Um, right now, myself and I'm sure many others are at a low point in Epic 7. Um, we all feel pretty bad. Again, all in quotes. Um, I know there's a lot of people really happy with the situation right now, and um, you do you, right? Um, I can only be as happy as I actually am. So, uh, like, me personally, it can't get any worse. Like, I I'm at the place right now in Epic 7 where um, it literally can't get any worse to me personally. So, any sort of big change like this is super welcoming to me. Um, and I cannot wait to see how it unfolds. Uh, so, of course, none of this is set in stone. We have no idea how they're going to handle it. We have no idea how they're going to balance. We have no idea in the world what's going to happen. Like, literal zero clue. But what we do know is they're willing to flip everything over. Like, flip it all over and start from scratch and try to fix this to make their 10-year long-term plan work. And that is a good sign. Um, assuming they follow through with everything they said on this thing and listen to people and kind of um, communicate with the community and stuff like that. Assuming they follow through with that, I am on board. I don't care what they do. I'm on board. Anybody willing to do that is just in a great spot. And um, let's be real here. They could just totally keep doing what they're doing. Keep releasing OP ML5s. Add in some um, costumes, um, add in some cosmetics, add in some pets, keep producing uh, ridiculous heroes like this, and just make absolute bank. But instead, they're just deciding to do this, which is probably going to hurt them monetarily by quite a bit. Um, I guarantee you, you're going to see a ton of people refining, especially those who spent a lot of money on Mystics and a lot of money on ML5s. So um, the fact that they're doing this is definitely going to be a huge, huge hit to their pocket. And... Um, just like with Final Fantasy XIV, it's one of those things where they're just scrapping it and starting it over, and that is a really good sign to me. So, that said, um, wow, I, I, <laughs> this is nuts. Um, that said, me personally, if I was to fix, in quotes, this game um, for a way that I like, again, I'm going to be different than you, opinionated differently than you. I like different things than you might like. What I would personally do is um, remove ML5s right now. 
Just not remove ML5s, but remove um, Mystic Summons, remove Gold Transmit Stones. Start off with that. Um, and then step two is try to figure out how to balance what we have in game. So the way I would personally do that is throw them all into one pool. Um, every last thing into one pool. So this way, one of the big problems for me is that everybody has everything and that feels bad. So there's no way to fix that right now with what we have because everybody already has everything. Again, I say everybody, but obviously I don't mean everybody. The vast majority of higher end players kind of have the same things um, outside of ML5s. So what I would personally do is throw everything into one pool right now. And then from this point on, um, I would have a weekly rotating pool. Uh, maybe not even weekly. Maybe maybe you can choose what pool you summon on. Um, maybe monthly, maybe bi-weekly. Uh, the however long it takes is undecided and we'll kind of talk about later. But basically every five-star unit we have right now is going to be in that rotating pool. Um, they'll have their pity rates like everything else does. So everybody can get the unit they want eventually um, through that rotating pool. Um, and this is going to take the place of the banner. So any new banner we would get, uh, let's say Lilybeth, um, instead of having like a Lilybeth banner for the week, we would have uh, like whatever banner um, was on rotation that week. And then we would have Covenant summons, um, just like we do now, except now they'll have ML5s in them as well, apparently, um, or at least the current ML5s right now. And um, anytime a new hero is added, they will be added to the uh, Covenant pool instead of a banner. So what this would do is make it so every hero currently in the game now is accessible. Every hero um, that has been released before this big stopping point is going to be an accessible hero for everybody. Um, and every hero after this big stopping point is going to be rare, basically. Um, It'll make for huge, huge, huge differences in units over time uh, because you'll have that base everybody has and then you'll have all the new units that are released getting thrown straight into the coven Covenant pool, same chance as everything else to get. Um, so what this would do is kind of make everybody's units a little different as we go along. Um, it'll make not everybody have the same unit 10 minutes after it comes out, you know, um, and add a ton of variety eventually once we, like, get a ton more units in here and kind of flesh out the system. The other thing I think that's really important to games like this is having stuff like ML5s. So I, I think it's really important to find a way to reintroduce stuff like ML5s into the system. Um, I'm not sure how they can do it, but there's definitely ways to introduce stuff like that to the game. Um, Summoner's War, again, has a lot of ML5 units that are a thousand times rarer, like literally a thousand times rarer than what we have here. Uh, but it's not really oppressive. It's not really a problem because not only do very few people have them, but just because it's an ML5 doesn't mean it's the best unit in the game. Like somebody like Bael and Zazan, like somebody like um, Ruel of Light, like ML Ken, you know, like just because the rarity is there does not mean that character has to be the best. Um, in fact, I'd rather have ML style characters as kind of trophy-ish units instead. Um, people like Spectre Tenebria that just do something super fun. Um, wow. Uh, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. This is, this is nuts. This is something so unbelievably unexpected that I don't even know what to say. Um, so we're just gonna stop here, and I'd love to hear what you guys think in the description below, and. All I can say is just try to be positive, you know? Like, just be negative and gloom and doom, doom and gloom, not gloom and doom, um, over everything just is not a good place to be. If you're like me, you can't get any worse, right? So just think positively. Like, how can they possibly screw it up more than it's already screwed up from my perspective? So whatever they do, I am welcome to it and I'm happy with it and I'm, I'm willing to take the journey with them because I've seen changes like this be for the better um anyways let me know in the description below what in the heck you think about this situation let me know how you would handle it do you like my idea of making everything currently in the game kind of accessible in quotes and everything in the future added kind of the rarity things does that 
work? Is that a good way to balance hero units and make it so everybody is kind of a little bit different? Um, let me hear it in the description below. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and um, we're, we're a little confused. So have a great day. Bye, everybody.